Hello, my little thieves. It is Phantom here, and welcome back to Murder in the Alps. I... It's so late. I think I'm gonna be up for quite a while today because I'm an idiot. I literally only just started recording, and it is 8 o'clock at night. Piss. Uh, anyways. Let's continue to look for our items so that we can move very quickly along our route of. Great! Two. I found a cipher disc. Cipher. Look what I found. Do you know what this is? It looks like a cipher disc, but it needs a deciphering machine, or it won't make any sense. I found a police badge and a button earlier. Are they from your station? Uh, you didn't even show the deci decipher thing, and he knows what you're talking I about. I haven't seen them before. We need to check the station. Mm. Uh, sorry, Claudia. I see ya. Anna, I can't find any evidence that the badge is from this town. Does that mean that someone from the city police force left it behind? Oh. I just telephoned. No one there knows who it belongs to. This is getting... Oh, that legitimately scared me. What just happened? The power went out. What just happened? Obviously the power fucking you there? went out. Yes, come in. What seems to be the problem? Who the fuck the is The power that? is out. Don't worry. It's probably the weather. It will fix itself in no time. No, sir. It is definitely not the weather. It is calm. I have checked the wires. Something must be preventing the flow of electricity. I think so. There's a fuse box next to the antique shop, but I have not the key. Will you examine it? Don't worry. Thank you. Anna, did you hear that? Yes. Could you check the fuse box? I must stay here in case anyone needs help. Yes. Here, take this flashlight. Thank you. Oh, I forgot to get new batteries. You need to find a lantern before you can fix anything. Where can I find one? There are a few lanterns in the bar. Go there. I will. You may need these instructions to repair the fuse box. Uh, 1932, December 8th, 7.15, the policeman gave me the repair instructions for the fuse box. It should help me turn the power back on in town. The green cable should connect first, the red cable should connect second, the purple cable third, and the yellow cable last. That's blue. Um, holy crap. Oh man, this flashlight's actually a piss. Anyways, we will... Hello? Is someone there? Bro. Hello? This is strange. Anyway, off to the bar. Uh, where, where, where? Uh, lantern. There Wait, we go. I found a lantern. Got it. But I need something to light it with. I think I saw a matchbox machine in the market. Yeah, yeah. F oh, Lord. I don't have any money, though. I don't, oh, I can go, I can go, oh yeah, okay, let's go to the antique shop. Let's go to the antique shop and steal some money. How do I do this again? I need some kind of code. Oh, wait, it's right there. Two, five, three, two, eight. Ta-da! I found a coin. Yeah, let's just steal money from the antique shop. That's perfectly fine. Sorry, Para, don't tell your master, alright? Don't tell your owner. The fuck is my dog doing? She's making funny noises back there. Thank you. I found some matches. It's wet. Because oh, of course no. it would be. They are wet. I could try to dry them at the fireplace in the prison corridor. Man, we have to go to so many freaking places. <laughs> he doesn't question the fact that we're back here. That should do the trick. I'm surprised it didn't light it on fire. <laughs> Thank you. Let there be light. And great timing too. Now I must go to the fuse box. Honestly. Okay, fuse box, fuse box, fuse box. Where is the fuse box? It seems to be locked. Oh, it's here. I wonder where I could find the key. Why don't you ask the cop? 
You know, the cops that's sitting in front of his desk. Anna, is everything all right? The fuse box is locked. <laughs> Obviously. Ah, oh, yes, I forgot. Here, let me get you the key. Oh, this is odd. The key is missing. Where did you put the key the last time you used it? All my keys are on this key ring. Maybe someone stole it. This is starting to annoy me. Anna, break open that box by any means necessary. Can I get a crowbar? Do I get a crowbar? Can I get a crowbar? Is there a crowbar in here? Probably not. Uh, oh, oh, oh! That was really well, well hidden, kind of. It was just right in front of the face. We only have one piece left. That's a bit tragic. Anyway, um, can you give me like a crowbar or something? You're not. I need to find a way to open the box. There should be a crowbar in the pub. Oh, thank you. That's not a pub, by the way. It's a bar. Great! I found a crowbar. This should do the trick. I already said give me the freaking crowbar. Do it! Break it! Yes, bitch. I have instructions in my diary which show how these wires should be connected. Uh, instructions are over there, so I'm just gonna... Uh, yellow... Hang on a minute, that looks wrong. It seems right, so I think this one goes into... And then this one goes first, and then... Yay! Uh, huzzah! Finally! I did it! Ta-da! Okay, um... Let's see. The whole town was as dark as the night. As I heard footsteps following me, uh, and I heard footsteps following me in the dark, I called, but no one answered. It was really terrifying. I found the fuse box, fixed it, and now there, the power is back. The city has electricity again. Let's go back to the police station. You did it. Well done. Thank you. Why are you did everything go? I'm not sure. I did everything go to plan? I heard footsteps. But no one answered, and it was too dark to see. Are you sure they were human? Maybe it was a stray animal. No, it was definitely a man. I think someone might be snooping around town. Someone definitely took the key from my office. What if it's Professor Clark? We shall find out tomorrow. Anna, why don't you spend the night here? With someone snooping around town, this is the only safe place. Thank you. so confused right now. Oh, hey, it's Professor Good morning. Clark. Professor Clark, I presume? Greetings. Yes, I am Charles Clark. Professor, I will get straight to the point. We have reason to believe that you are involved in the murders of Claudia Perret and Helmut Grass. What is the meaning of this? I demand an explanation. We found ancient Hindu markings on the bodies, and your book was found at the crime scene. You're really gonna arrest the dude just because of that? Is that that's not enough evidence? So what? Anna, tell him this is a mistake. Gentlemen, please calm down. Professor, would you look at the markings? Do you recognize this symbol, Professor? Yes, but... But what? It's a Hindu symbol, yes, but it has nothing to do with me. I am an expert in Vedism. This symbol belongs to the Shaivist sect. It has nothing to do with Vedism. What do you mean? Vedism and Shaivism are not the same religion. They are from different periods of time and different parts of India. How do we know you're not lying, Professor? Check my book. The symbols in my book look nothing like the markings on the body. Anna, could you get the book from my office? That's brilliant. Just leave the book where there's evidence in it give in the your key office. To open the oh, he actually remembered to give me the freaking key this time. Thank Great. you. I found the box key. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Shut up. Where's the box? Explain this. Where do I... I didn't click that. Oh, right. Okay, there we go. Great! I found Walter's book! Cool. So let's not take any more evidence out of that cupboard. Look, here it is. There we go. Turn to page 59. It shows all the Vedist symbols. He's right. These symbols look nothing like the ones found on Helmut's body. 
But maybe they match the ones on Claudia. Let's check her body. Sure, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's make this quick, let's make this quick. Let's go. Hello. More Shivist symbols. But what does it mean? These symbols look too modern to have any ritualistic significance. Whoever is responsible for this has absolutely no idea what they are doing. Could someone have left these markings to frame Professor Clark? Now why would anyone want to do that? That's what we need to find out. I would like to check the bar again. Yeah, let's just go uh, to several different places at once. That's perfectly fine. 1932, December 9th, 1032 AM. Uh, Professor Clark has arrived. I hope he will help us solve these murders. He's the only one who knows the meaning of these markings. On the victims. Thanks, Lucifer. You made me lose my train of thought. Professor Clark is an expert in vagism. Is there? Can I take this a This is pick? really strange. Okay, no, 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 no. Go away, go away. Fuck off. Uh, back to the bar, I suppose. We're going back and forth between places a lot. Is Evan? When the frick did you two get here? Okay, tricon, 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 tricon. Oh. Oh, we're running out of energy. Well, then. <laughs> well, that is all for this episode by the looks of it. Uh, thank you everybody so much for watching. Uh, if you have any thoughts about this so far, put them down in the comments below. Do you think Professor Clark is lying? Do you think he's not? Do you think he's innocent? In my opinion, I think he is innocent because what reason would he have to lie? Um, if you want to see more, subscribe and hit that notification belly bell bell. Not that it works or anything. Um, if you have any games you want to recommend to me, then put those down in the comments below as well. And I'll see you, my little thieves, in the next one. Bye!